this is the uh, Hobie Pro Angle 14 double uh, trailer build. And what we got so far is we got a Northern Tools uh, heavy duty trailer kit. It's a DIY. You got to build it yourself. It took us about five hours to put it together. It's actually a pretty nice uh, trailer, as you can see. But one major thing we switched out was this. These are the tail lights that came with it. These are not submersible. They might claim they are. But as you can see, it's still got the regular bulb inside. Swapped it out to some LEDs that are waterproof. Highly recommend it. I've had them on this trailer before, the traditional ones, and they always fail after about a month. They rust out. So get these, they're $25, about $25 shipped for a pair. Highly recommend them. The wiring for the kayak trailer, uh, we used the base harness that came with it, but we had to rewire a lot of stuff. One of the reviews I heard was the uh, the grounding on the, on the trailer actually sucks real bad. So you have to run ground to all the lights. What I mean by that is, see this black wire right here? I'm running it from this connection to that light. Kind of just snakes around that way. And then it goes around that way and it goes up to the connector that's over there. Now what we're also doing is... The standard, uh, the standard uh, trailer does not come with a long enough tongue, so we're extending the tongue, and not just by extending it straight out, but we're actually doing dual, uh, dual rail extensions to uh, dual ten footers, and I think that's going to be enough. And as for these, we're going to try to put them right on top, kind of like this, kind of in this manner, maybe this way. And uh, then we can bolt it, down, bolt it down, and then bolt the uh, PVC pipes on top. That's that way you're still using everything. Um, that's pretty. Uh, that's the idea so far. And I have it. Uh, I have the lights testing right now, so uh, I'll show you the wiring here. The wiring, kind of. It's kind of a mess right now, but I have it cable tied and everything. Basically, my idea was the ground is uh, this. The ground is this white line that's coming off of the connector that's provided, and they'll ground it to the to the metal. But the thing is, it's not welded, so you're not going to get a good connection. So what you got to do is you got to extend all these wires. You still got to ground it just in case, but then run a separate ground wire to all the lights so make sure you get ground all the lights all your lights work that's working the other side's working this side's working so far so good okay day two of the kayak trailer build we bolted everything down ran all the wires everything we're about to start putting the top half on it so we can put the kayaks on it and uh this guy being a body man as a career or as a profession had to measure make sure this whole square this rectangular deck is square and it turns out it wasn't square even after we squared it before we bolted everything down so uh, we tried to re-square it again bolt it back down again and it was just too flimsy like uh, if you kicked this corner right there it would actually deform the whole thing so uh, decided we're just gonna weld the corners and uh, weld a couple of these beams in the middle, and then the uh, at the tongue uh, we're just gonna weld that up too. So I'll show you guys that but right now. We bought 10 foot two by two, uh, yeah, two by two. What do you call them? Cubes or squares? And uh, we bolted into the same original position right here, and then we're gonna run them all the way out like that. So this is 10, and that's a 10 on the other side. And we're still using the, uh, the original mount over there. And just clean things up and we'll see how it looks in a little bit. Yep. Kind of looks like a chicken shit, but it'll hold.
after welding and some grinding, I think she's uh, perfect. Okay, to give you guys a front look of the uh, trailer here, an idea of what it looks like. I'm not done yet, we still got some accessories to put on top, but just the base. The base needs to be as sturdy as it can be. Alright, I know it's pretty late, but we've been uh, thinking about all these new ideas on how to put it together. So, this is how we got it going right now. That's my part. Okay, so here we go. Here's how it looks. It just sits like that. Uh, 3 inch schedule 40. And this one's pretty much done. You still got this one. And the way we're bolting it down is we're just essentially just doing this. We're just uh, taking a washer, flat, uh, not flattening, but making it curve on the vise. And just sitting it down like this. One on the inside, one on the outside. And like that and then the bolt runs through it and how we do the bolt is we drill a hole a big hole on top small hole on the bottom depending on what bolt you use so you can use a socket to hold the bolt you drop the bolt in through the top on top of the uh, curved washer and it goes through another one and there's another little washer on the bottom and the nut and this nut and washer is actually part of the uh, the kit that comes with the uh, trailer and these bigger washers uh, I got from uh, Home Depot so yep that's what I'm using front and back and like I said this this piece is part of the trailer we just we just uh this piece is used to be down here took it off on top and then we just put the three inch piece on top and it clears fenders and we get you guys on the other side Clears the fenders and it clears the kayak too. So here's the clearance on the kayak. We got about an inch off that side. The fender should protect the hull of the kayak from the debris and things like that. So I mean, if you still want to protect it more, you could put something else that comes across here and maybe in the back. But that's how it looks right now. And that's the front of it. Working into the night because we do have a tournament the next day. So we gotta get this thing done. Alright, here's the uh, the trailer. All done, all set up. Two kayaks on top. And we'll probably do a little bit more modifications, but for the most part, this is uh, the finished product. Okay, so what we did was, uh, like I said, we extended all the uh, cables. We used this, which is still the original piece, and we just welded it. Got some rust going. I have to probably treat that. It's only been used once. You gotta spray more uh, paint on it. Kind of goes like that. This is still the same piece that came with the trailer. We just kind of flipped it around. Bolts from Home Depot. Like I said, this is a double Hobie Pro Angler 14 setup. Uh, I haven't seen this anywhere before. At least not with a DIY. Here's the PVC pipes. We strapped it on this way. But we're going to get the bolt buckle system on it soon. Um, so that's that's kind of a version 1.1. This is 1.0. So let's see. This is not waterproof and it's already fogging up. That's not good. Here's the, uh, the bar that comes out. It is welded on um, the bottom of everything. Oh, yeah, this is something that uh, maybe I explained a while ago, but didn't need a better picture. This uh, this platform comes with these uh, C uh, C brackets or whatever you want to call them. I don't know the exact name, but um, they usually they go. They're designed to go inside this piece, kind of like kind of like that piece right here. But what we found is since we welded it, um, you know, we welded that corner, the middle, and the back corner. Uh, I took that and just mounted it from from the center, mounted it right on top, and the PVC goes right on top of it, and it actually works out really, really good. Uh, clears everything. 
And this trailer has suspension too. Just leaf springs. Comes with a 12 inch tire, which is pretty good for long traveling. Um, strapped in the back again. And these are the LED lights from eBay. Uh, waterproof, which is a must for marine applications. And like I said, it's welded. Uh -huh. These are the three inch PVC pipes. Kind of looks like that. Twenty twelve and twenty fourteen model PA fourteens. We did do pretty good at the tournament. Well, I can't say I did good. I uh. I did better than the entire group, I think, or half of the entire group, but I was a little disappointed. I caught three fish, decent size, by 9.30. Check-in was at 2.30, and I just couldn't catch another fish for the rest of the day, and couldn't figure him out, but uh, my brother, Hybrid Killer, he figured him out. He had one fish by 9.30, caught four after that, caught a giant 22-inch bass and ended up taking second place for the tournament and end up ended up taking angle of the year for the uh for our division congrats to him i don't know where i'm at i think i'm in the top five being my first season i think that's pretty dang good you know so any questions let me know for the uh trailer here that's how I have it set up.